Coach, back-to-back walk-off wins today. This time, Harris delivers the walk-off homer for a 7-6 victory. Took the series victory over a conference rival at home. So, overall, your thoughts on the afternoon? I was just an absolutely wild, you know, entire weekend, actually. But today was, I would say, ups and downs. But really, we're just down again. <laughs> From 6-2 down, we had a fight back. Uh, but really, just we used every pitcher we had left in the bullpen to try and stem the tide. Most guys did a really good job. It was just tough fought. They're a really good team. They're well coached. It's a, it's a constant battle. I, no one separated from each other too far over, I guess it was 30 innings over the weekend. So, um, but awesome. You know, the way our guys fight, Keegan was awesome. Two, two home runs. Uh, Harris putting an end to it. Uh, but really, Lombard, guys just kept putting zeros up, giving us a chance. And our defense is pretty stellar today, too. So, Overall, um, it feel, feels nice to get a reward for a lot of the hard work people are putting in and getting some positive results. One of the guys you just mentioned, Patrick Keegan, multi-homer gang. He's been pretty much regular third baseman for the last few weeks now, and it seems like his bat's really been coming around. What have you seen that he's done at the plate to help allow him to have these success like he had today? Uh, Pat's ultra-aggressive, um, which sometimes comes back to bite him in his at-bats, but if, if, they, if they put something in his zone, he can do some damage. and. Um, he had good at bats today. You know, he got pitches to drive and didn't miss them. You know, sometimes it's easier said than done. You know, be on time to the fastball, don't miss the hanger. But he did both of those today and couldn't be any more clutch. But Pat's just pretty steady. You know, he never gets too high or low. And uh, whether he's failing or succeeding in the box, he always brings the energy in, in his own way. And I mean, that, you, you can't hit big. It's nice when it happens for good people. You can't hit any bigger home runs than those. Now, Harris, he came through with a walk-off hit. He said before he did this, that was the first time he's ever had a walk-off in his career. What, what did that moment just mean for the team? Obviously, it's out of the way the dugout got fired up with after the victory, but just having that leadoff hitter is able to go and leave the yard like that, what does that luxury mean for you guys? Well, yeah, at our park, uh, especially lefties, it could end in a flash. <laughs> it could turn quick, and Harris all day long, his first four at-bats, he had a bunt single and then three fly-outs on four total pitches. So this was the first at bat where he actually um, saw a pitch before he <laughs> before he got a swing off. And uh, as inside of me, I'm thinking any of our three batters in that inning, Harris, Mario, or Asby, could win the game on any pitch. And you know, Lombard was probably had one more inning left in him, and then we were getting deep, deep into our pen. So it was a relief because we, you know, I'm just thinking get on base with his speed. He could probably be on second or third pretty quick, but. Luckily, he got into it and ended it on one swing. But awesome for him. He's a leader. He's our guy, and it's fun to see him have success. Now you mentioned Weston. Obviously, he had a tough one on Friday, but we were able to bounce back at the win today. Two scoreless innings. Just what did you see from the pitching staff as a whole, and especially him, who you used in a versatile amount of roles this year? The Weston, I mean, Friday he did his job. We, I mean, I know they went down his hits, but uh, I'm sure Keegan will tell you he should have got to those balls or at least got one of the two outs. And then, you know, we made an error, and we just – yeah, one bad pitch, two runs single. Um, he did his job. You know, we put him in a tough spot with the bases loaded on Friday, and you know, we're kind of asking him to perform a miracle there, and he almost did. But you know, Weston's awesome. Like, our whole plan today was keep the game close enough and use him on the back end and try and steal it. And sometimes plans work out. He <laughs> kept it close enough, and he put up two zeros, which is what we needed, and we scored three runs late. But he can start. He can relieve. He's another guy on his last year of baseball, so I think he'll take the ball whenever we ask him. He's physically ready for it and he's got a couple weeks left so I mean we're excited for him but overall I mean Will Hearn's been really coming along um, from a, you know an awful start to the year and he has really built up really well um, those are big outs they go unnoticed in a game like this but in the seventh inning when you're down six four at the time I mean you give up a run or two there it's really hard to keep the bats alive and feel like there's hope and did an awesome job and you now we got good innings out of Max to start the game six out so um, he's given us everything. In the middle there, it was hit or miss, you know, but the guys are fighting. It's hard. It's hard to not know when you're coming in and just be asked to get three to six outs, but that was the plan today, and we executed it well enough to win. Now looking ahead to next week, back out on the road, play at Nevada on Tuesday before going down to the South Bay to play Santa Clara over the weekend. What are the things you guys need to see as a team to continue this winning streak now that you've got back-to-back victories? So just keep playing, you know, feeling well. I mean, the road hasn't exactly been kind to us, but actually the – the road series we've won in conference was the same type of trip where you drive back and forth, so maybe that'll bode well for us this upcoming weekend. But honestly, I think the guys are playing a lot more free and loose now. There's a lot less stress in the dugout, pressure. I don't know what it is, but maybe they finally realize like the style of play we want to become, the coaches we are. It's, it's an atmosphere we're trying to create where the players are free, 
to play their game and not be worried about mistakes and be free and loose. And we're starting to get there. You know, every day is a building block for what we're trying to do. But I think Nevada is, I mean, it's a long trip, tough trip, but they did it to us and they beat us uh, here. So hopefully we're ready to play coming out. And then Santa Clara is yet another tough conference opponent <laughs> that's really good baseball team. So our work's cut out for us. Nothing's easy. But if we can play with intensity and fight, we could be in there against anybody. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.